Hello guys, once again, um, welcome to the Premium Crate for Japan Crate Unboxing, December 2018, brought to you by Japan Crate, of course, and Get a Life Podcast. So let's, before we open it, if you want to get this month's crate, of course you can't, um, but if you want to get next month's crate for the new year, make sure that you order before the 30th of December, and make sure you use the code GALP, you're going to get $3 off. So either do that or go to our link on our website, getalifepodcast.com forward slash Japan Crate. So let's get unboxing into this. This is actually the first time that I've actually seen what's inside this crate. So bear with me. We're going to go through everything. Um, first, talk about the artwork that's on there. You've got the mascots for Japan Crate there and there. And basically, they're Santa Claus. It's pretty cool. You've got Rudolph, my man Rudolph. And we're going to check what's inside here and... So yeah, this theme is basically for the holidays. It's happy holidays theme candy. So let's go through them and see what it is one by one. We'll see this one. This this one's catching out my eye. Um, it looks really nice. I don't know what it is. I've re yeah, I just have to check what it is, man. Um, bo -bo 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 -bo. Sumiko Garashi Gum. So I don't know what is a Gurashi. But I'm guessing it's these guys. Um, they like to sit on a corner alone. So it's chewing gum. I think that's this is actually part of the premium crate. So it is a premium item in there. I don't know what it is. It should be interesting to try it out. It looks like it's sweet only because of the packaging and such. But there's something I do enjoy with Japanese sweets and stuff. The packaging is top notch. Artwork is great. Uh, to me. I don't know. I can't read Japanese. I'm I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. Oh, it says Sumiko. I'm such an idiot. Uh, sumi, yeah, Sumiko. It actually says Sumiko, you know, Gurashi or whatever. Um, what should I pick next? We'll go with the smaller ones and leave the big ones till last. This looks like an Umaibo, but I'm not sure if it is. Um, it feels quite hard actually. It feels like some sort of chocolate, I presume. Oh, it is! Oh my god, I am right. It is. It's Umaibo. This is part of the mini crate. Uh, I only noticed it because of the um, mascot there. This is actually special Christmas themed Umaibo that is covered in chocolate. Because I can feel, I feel like Umaibo is not hard. But this is Umaibo that is dipped in chocolate. It's kind of got this salty flavor and sweet, obviously, with the chocolate there. So that is part of the mini crate. You know, like I said, it's best to go with the premium crate on it. You get more value for money. But this is really nice. I love Imaibo. So thank you, Japan Crate, for that. Um, this waffle. I want to see what this is. What is this waffle? Chocolate waffle. This is also part of the mini crate. Um, yeah, it's a waffle. Once again, that's covered in chocolate. I like how cute it looks with its tongue sticking out. That's really nice. Um, chocolate. It just says chocolate waffle pretty cool there's also part of the mini crate once again um i've noticed that there's a lot of chocolate here in this one so if you, for those chocolate lovers you would enjoy this crate definitely what is this another merry christmas thing oh this is quite soft actually what is it it's like a wafer i think uh christmas fugashi I don't know what the hell a fugashi is, but it's Christmas themed. Whoa! I don't know what makes it Christmas themed. I think it's just the packaging, but I will. I think it's going to be interesting to try a fugashi. What else? And that's also, sorry, that's part of the original crate. Before we move on to the next thing, this is really nice for me because my birthday is actually on Christmas Day. So Japan Crates basically sent me a Christmas slash birthday present. Thank you, Japan Crate. Um, oh, this one, this looks really nice. Cream cake. Cream cake. What is a cream cake? Because here in the UK, cream cakes are basically like, um, milfe. I don't know if you know that. It's like, um, pastry laid on top of each other with cream and strawberries and stuff. But I don't know what this is. It's just a trend. I don't know what anything is. I knew what the Omaibo was, but cream cake and chocolate chocolate and milk every celebration needs a cake so it's like it's just literally a cake with chocolate so it's a chocolate cake with cream 
and it's dipped in white chocolate. That sounds delicious, man. Okay. Um, I know what this is. There's no way you can mistake what this is. Lotte. Um, marching koalas. They sell these really anywhere, but this is a special edition. Or March, koala march. This one is a secret flavor. Secret flavor. You won't know what it is until you try it. Let us know what you think it is. That's why he's got the Sherlock cap on. I'm hoping it's not something disgusting. I'm guessing it's going to be eggnog. Um, probably. I don't know if Japanese people like eggnog or if they enjoy eggnog. Either that or it's like custard or like Christmas pudding or something like that. I would imagine because if it is Christmas themed. Or maybe it isn't Christmas themed. No, it's not. This isn't Christmas themed. Um, that's interesting. I'm guessing it might be birthday cake flavor. He's got he's got a birthday cake there. We'll figure out what it is. They've kind of crossed out, scribbled out what it is. And you have to find out. Um, that should be interesting. I want to see what it is now. I'm very curious. I might eat that later on. And maybe post on Twitter at Get Life Podcast and tell you guys what it is. I love these. This is why I, I mentioned last time in Mistake. This is Fue Ramune. And yeah, it's a Christmas themed Fue Ramune. Um, it, this says family pack. Um, I was supposed to get a family pack in the box. I didn't. What is that? Um, no, I'm joking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But this is just a single. It's not a family pack. This is the grape flavor, I believe. Um, it's the one you might have seen it in the Ashikashi, where they put it in their mouth and they whistle with it. These I love. The taste is great as well. I'm a big fan of chalk candies and, you know, Japan knows how to do their chalk candies. I'm a bit, a bit miffed off about that. I should have got more. I don't know. It's saying it's um, Christmas themed. No, saying it's a multi-pack. Family pack, I think there's like, it says, now everyone can whistle along to their favorite holiday tune with a family pack of Christmas Fuey Ramane. This isn't a family pack. Just saying. Um, I like Fuey Ramane though. Remember this from the last video. I was sent this by mistake. I spoke to Japan Crate. They said we slipped in a preview for the next crate by accident. Um, this was actually really, really nice. It's Pris Princess Disappearing Treasure. It's a cookie with a hidden secret. So it's a cookie basically that has jam, but you don't see the jam in it. Obviously, the jam is there, but I mean, you don't, when you break into it, you, you tend not to see the jam. You won't realize it. Um, it's nice. It's got the strawberry jam inside. It, it's, it's very regal, very British. I really do kind of did enjoy this it tastes a lot like a jammy dodger i'm not sure if you guys know what they are in the states but um for those who are i think sweden people the swedish people also have jammy dodgers if you're from the uk or if you're from sweden you'd know what this tastes like it tastes like a da jammy dodger 10 out of 10 ign um this is great i've always found that japan crate they have these diy uh sweets the one where you, you know, mix the powder in, you add a little bit of water. What is that? Let's see the instructions. These are panda lollipops. Oh, sorry. I'm, I haven't even read the official instruction about these panda lolly, 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 lollipops. Um, don't tell me this isn't included again. I don't think it is. I think... Yeah, I I think Japan Crate must have sent me this again by mistake. Um, this might be a preview. I'm, I'm hoping that Japan Crate does this, like they put in another suite as a preview for next month. I think this might be it. Uh, these Panda and Lion Lollipops DIY kit. It's pretty cool. Um, we'll see next month and see if they've got that there. Ooh, this looks great. These are milk buttons. Are they buttons? No, they're balls. Uh, chocolate balls. It says Otama chocolate ball. It's chocolate balls. I think they're try trying to make them as baubles. Like if you can see there, it's kind of got this Ferrero Rocher vibe. So it's like um, white chocolate with peanuts on the inside. And it's 2.5 times as big. 
So that's insane. I'm guessing these are usually small, but wow, the special Christmas edition. I love the gold packaging on there. Is then I think they got a toucan. Let's read that. That's really nice, actually. Yeah, I think that's going to be the highlight, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, what is this? Getting that cola gum. What is this in Japan's obsession with gum? It's like, let's see that cola gum. You're not, while not the traditional polar bear Coca Cola commercial. Quick question. In America, did they have a, a polar bear in their Coca-Cola commercials? In the UK, it's, it's generally Santa Claus. I've never seen a polar bear in the commercial. But this is a long stick of gum. Yeah, this is a... What, what is this? The gum. It's This is weird, man. This is quite long. Um, okay, that's an interesting one. That is an interesting one. That's part of the original crate. So I'll just pop that to one side. There is a bottle there, but I'm not going to show it to you at the moment. I'm going to flip it over just so you don't see the artwork on that because I'm saving that until last, as always. Ooh. Baki Saku. What is that? That looks like a Kit Kat. Um, a pastry favorite for the holidays. Roll cake. Roll roll cake okay it's like shocking pink enjoy the strawberry cream roll cake okay cool um this looks like those small kit kats that you get in japan uh, i don't want to say it looks like a knockoff the poor man's kit kat but i don't like the packaging on this one it, it's too much it screams at you it's like the text and everything it's just it's too much for me but We'll see how it tastes. I'm not too optimistic on that one. There might be actually jam on the inside. If there is, that's pretty awesome. But regardless, I'll, I'll leave that to one side. I'll leave that to one side. That's part of the premium crate. So it is a premium item. These are interesting. What the hell is this? Chocolate chips. Well, not chocolate chips, but I mean... To Tohato corn caramel. Caramel crunchy snacks that are made out of corn caramel I'm guessing it's chocolate and caramel you're supposed to dip them in your hot chocolate or your coffee that's interesting I've never seen crisps that were made for sweet purposes they're usually savory treats but that's really cool like I said I've noticed this Japan crate is filled with sweets and stuff um, so you guys might like it a lot sorry guys Apologies. I want to make a um, correction. This isn't the Tohato Corn Caramel. That's this one here. I'm such an idiot. I read that. Anyway, this is called Detour Toast. Um, Detour is a popular Japanese coffee roaster. And it's used... It has amazing flavors. Okay. Coco flavor. Okay, so it, it's basically like these little crisps. Well, I got it. I hit the nail on the head. These little crisps that are made out of like, um, I don't know what they're made out of, but probably potatoes or something. Or like little biscuits that you dip into your, your hot chocolate. And yeah, it's got this kind of cocoa flavor. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Um, Sorry about that. Let's get into the Tohato Caramel Corn. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's crunchy snacks. It's like corn puffs with um, caramel flavorings. Whoa, that's really cool. That's part of the mini crate. It's quite big for the mini crate, by the way. So Japan crate are being generous this time of year. We'll go what this is. We'll see what this is because this is really nice. I don't know what that is. It looks like an RPG character. Kira Kira. Kira Kira. What's that? Sparkle, sparkle. I presume that's what kira kira mean. Uh, World of stars. So it's these little star shaped candies. I think we used to have these as kids. Um, these traditional Japanese sweet with similar taste to rock candy. No, this isn't the ones that I'm talking about. In in, in the UK, a long time ago, I don't know if they still sell them, but we used to have these sweets that looked pretty similar to this. 
but it was like puffed rice and they were like different colors it was like rice krispies um that's really cool i like that okay and there's different different flavors similar taste to rock candy okay you know i think you can't get you can't go wrong with rock candy from brighton so we'll come i'll try and compare that to some rock candy from brighton there's something small in here let's see what this is Ooh, it's a dragon ball z gum well not dragon ball z sorry dragon ball super okay that's interesting we've had that the number of chooses your power level okay this should be interesting i don't know what the flavor is it's got goku super saiyan god i believe i haven't seen dragon ball super um i've seen battle of gods or battle of the gods i don't know i've seen that but i haven't seen dragon ball super so tell me if you guys actually enjoy dragon ball on dragon ball super if you do please tell me so i can watch it um artwork's really nice on this actually okay i'm looking forward to that there's a lot of gum in this one actually i don't know if that's a traditional japanese treat um and by the way that that gum is part of the premium pack um there's one more thing before we go and get to the drink oh i don't no i don't want to show the drink but we see what this is these are basically hula hoops. That's basically it. It's called Pote Go Pizza. Christmas edition. Made by the same company, Tohato. Um, it's basically these rings that are pizza flavored. Uh, pizza. Pizza and crisps. I don't know how that's going to sound, but I do love hula hoops. So these are basically hula hoops if you come from the UK. Um... Okay, uh, you know, I'm going to keep an open mind to that one. going to keep an open mind. I'll, I'll leave that to one side. And then, let's see if there's anything else in the box. The box actually says at the bottom, Happy Holidays 2018. So let's, let's show you that. Happy Holidays 2018. Oishi. I think that says Oishi. I would presume it says that. Um, but yeah. Before we get onto the final item of this crate, I have to admit, Japan Crate's got some really nice artwork and stuff on here. Um, yeah, we love our Japan Crate family. Hashtag Japan Crate for the chance to be featured in next month's issue. They didn't have it in the previous month because it was a Pac Man themed crate. But, oh, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute this that's on the back is that a bonus bonus meme no it, okay the waku waku animal soft candy okay the lollipops um all right i didn't know that that's very interesting um pretty uh, pretty cool i'm not gonna lie uh, yeah and obviously you got your advertising for the sugoi crate um Super NES Classic? No way. No way. There's no way that they're going to put a Super NES Classic in there. There's no way that they're going to put a NES, a NES Classic, a NES Mini. There's no way. I wouldn't presume. If, that, if they put one in there, that's just pretty awesome. You should go and get one of those. Visit store.japancreate.com and play the Spin the Wheel discount game to get 80% off. That's pretty badass do that i think that's a really cool thing oh i ruined what it was so we'll just open it now this is cha -cha! grape white grape kirby drink it's basically like ramen is it telling you to shake it five times what shake it to wake it pop this sparkling kirby soda to celebrate the holidays so i think that's pretty cool um i love i know joe uh from the podcast likes kirby he's a big fan of kirby so i might be sending this off to joe might it depends joe if you're listening I, i'll try and send this to you just a kirby drink <laughs> oh my god um i like it though it's really nice really nice color 
Um, I've tried these kind of white grape drinks before. They're, they're quite nice. It's like Schlaw in the UK if you've tried Schlaw. Or if you tried any sort of non-alcoholic grape drink. It is quite nice. You're Okay, you're supposed to shake it and then open it. That does not sound like it's a good idea. But yeah. So yeah, that's the uh, this month's December Japan Crate for the theme Happy Holidays. Um, hopefully we'll see you guys next month for the next crate, which is... Well, I don't know what it is yet, but um, when I do, I'll make a new video as as we did on this one. But make sure if you want the next crate for the new year, the January crate, you have to order by 30th of December your crate. And you also need to use the code if you use the code g-a-l-p you get yourself three dollars off on your subscription it helps this show out helps the podcast run so thank you in advance for using that um yeah bye bye